Good morning. Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome back to Yarn on the Beach. The good news is we have a beautiful sunny morning. Uh, the sun's just about to come over the trees and it's not raining, it's not super windy. We're going to have the whole beach to ourselves, but the back side of that, or the opposite side of that is that it's 39 degrees outside, which is why we're going to have the beach to ourselves. Good morning, KB Fibers. Welcome back. I, uh, I flip-flopped. Good morning, Faye, about coming here this morning. I was like, oh, 39 degrees is going to be so cold. Good morning, Sarah. But I got this really great message from a woman yesterday telling me an old-fashioned Danish saying and she said there's no such thing as bad weather only bad clothing and I was like that is absolutely right I've said that for years uh, you can always dress for the weather you're in good morning everybody good morning from Algeria I missed some names but thank you all for being here so I have lots of layers on and like I said it's not super windy so it's actually kind of a mild 39 degrees. Uh, and I just dropped Marlon off at his tennis academy where they have to play in this all day long. So if I can weather the temperature for a few minutes, uh, if they can do it all day, I can do it for a few minutes. And it's so much colder where all of you are, it looks like. So stay inside, stay cozy and comfy and warm, and just enjoy this magnificent sunrise. Look at the colors of the waves as the sun's peeking over the trees. So pretty. Thank you, Sarah. This is two color brioche stitch in the round. Um, not very difficult to make and I have free patterns and videos on how to make both of these on YouTube and on my website. Uh, they both use Be So Brave yarn, which is my worsted weight American Merino wool that's 100% made in the U.S. These colors are Orangesicle and Everglades, which uh, go really nicely with University of Miami colors. <laughs> oh, it sure is pretty out here. Good morning, Mar. Good morning, Marsha. Uh, no, Marsha, we don't escape winter in Florida. Uh, it's just not, well, Leanne is in Australia, so it's a hot summer for her right now, but six months from now, it won't be. <laughs> it's, all, it's all relative, right? Good morning, everyone. So, if uh, I'd like to get started and talk to you about what is going on in my brain today I'm thinking about shower gifts one of my best friends thank you Connie I'll post links to the videos and um, patterns for these in the show notes good morning oh for more co uh, cold people in Florida yeah oh someone in Florida has ice on her steps today that is so crazy I haven't turned my heat on yet uh, but I have a feeling that we're not gonna make it till tomorrow without heat Oh, great, Sarah. I'm so glad you can enjoy the waves uh, this way. Uh, the, the sound of the waves is so magical to me. I love it more than anything. Uh, maybe not more than anything, but more than a lot. <laughs> Rain in California. All right, well, you stay inside and stay dry. Okay, so my friend, one of my best friends in Florida, I've known her as long as I've lived here. And she moved, I moved here in March. She moved here in June of the same year 10 years ago and you know we've watched each other's kids grow up we've been just close friends all along and one of her older daughters is getting married this year and I thought what a great opportunity if I think about it a couple months in advance to make her some handmade gifts for either the bridal shower or the wedding and what have you and so I've been working on some I don't know if you want to call them dishcloth or washcloth patterns but what I was thinking is to make a spa gift for her with a couple of beautiful designs of washcloths and then put in spa type gifts along with it. So I'll show you the patterns that I've worked up so far. This one, and they're all done in my organic cotton called Biso Bear Yarn. This one, this is uh, I think what they call corner to corner. And then I did a simple edge all the way around this one too this one has like a scallop edge on and that's worked in the round 
Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. This one's circular. And then this one's like a motif that has a perpendicular ribbed edging around it. So if I can hold them up together, you can see that they're all slightly different. <laughs> I can't. My waitressing days are long over, aren't they? <laughs> Let's see if I can hold them up. Okay, so you can see all four of them. And so I was thinking about putting these together in a beautiful box and beautifully wrapped up with some handmade spa gifts. Maybe I'll make her my organic sugar scrub and put some organic bar soaps in there. And I was just wondering if any of you had any ideas for other things that you could put into a gift like that. Oh yes, Pamela, there's gonna be patterns, charts, and videos for them. I've just been in the designing stage still. Uh, so I'm just thinking of in terms of putting together the gift first so that when I share with you the patterns, I can share with you the ideas of how to make it into a well-rounded and beautiful and substantial gift as well. Yeah, foot scrub, that's a good idea. I was thinking about using, uh, adding a jar of my organic sugar scrub that I make. So maybe that would work. Um, and maybe uh, I make a, a massage candle that's really nice for couples. Maybe that would be a good thing to put in there. And I was thinking maybe some lotions. I make a healing balm that's really nice. So I was gonna try to make as much as I could, but I'm not opposed to adding store-bought stuff into the gift if it makes sense. So if anybody has any ideas, uh, I think it'd be fun to brainstorm the planning session this morning, and then from there we'll work it into an amazing, ooh, bubble bath would be nice, yeah. <laughs> Pamela says I'm a Jill of all trades. Yes. <laughs> that is true, I do juggle a lot and you know, I'm just so curious by nature, so curious that I just, I'm always wanting to learn something new. Sarah loves my healing balm. I'm so glad. Have you ever used it on your lips? If you have dry lips, the healing balm is amazing on your lips, partly because because it has a t uh, the essential oils in it have a topical analgesic. What that means is it's a topical painkiller. And so if your lips are burning from being really um, dry, you can uh, put it on your lips and it takes the pain away as it's moisturizing them. Yes, I will be posting a link to these patterns in today's show notes. Yes, it does smell great. I think it's clove, cinnamon, peppermint, and lavender essential oils that I put in there. Yes, that's right. This is brioche, knitted brioche, two color in the round. Get closer so you can see it. Two color brioche in the round, surprisingly enough, I think is one of the easier ways to learn how to do brioche, or two color over one color to start with, in my opinion, because it's really easy to see when you've made a mistake, because the colors carry up vertically, even though you're working in the round, one color at a time. Oh, Donna ordered this yarn, that's right. Uh, it should be there soon, yeah, it's our, it left, so it should be there soon. Hopefully you can follow the tracking number. You should have gotten an email. Good morning, everyone, good morning, Lee. Christine from Western Australia, that's cool. Oh, gosh, we've had everyone from my backyard all the way around the world joining this morning. That's just amazing. All to share my beautiful beach with me. Boy, those waves don't take a break, do they? Prettiest sound. I'm gonna show you some of the colors over here. You can see where the sun's coming up over there. Oh, and we're not alone. Oh, today I am at Barefoot Beach, which is the south side of Bonita Springs, bordering on the north side of Naples. <sighs> Thank you, Pamela. I'm so glad you like my projects. I'm afraid it's too cold to actually knit or crochet out here this morning. <laughs> I'd prefer to just chat with you. <gasps> here comes the sun. Oh, that's going to feel better right away. <laughs> it's actually not that bad out here. 
I thought it was going to be worse. Yesterday was colder with the wind and the rain. Oh, you have a friend visiting in Benito. That's great. And someone's making the messy bun hat I wore yesterday. What time is it here? It is somewhere just before 8 o'clock, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, if you want to come down and join me at the beach, today's not the day. Oh, look, it, here's the sun. I'm going to flip this around one more time so you can see the sun's finally here. Isn't that beautiful? I haven't thought of a project for Easter, but that's a good idea. Christine, it is really cold. It's about 39 degrees, give or take. I saw anything from 37 to 40 in the car on the way here. Oh, thank you, Pamela. The sun is so forgiving to wrinkles, isn't it? <laughs> in the morning light. Uh, as a photographer, I'm not a professional photographer, but certainly someone who is a uh, amateur photographer, there's nothing more beautiful than early morning and early evening light. There's that in between, in the middle of the day is very harsh light, but when uh, taking photos, there's something so special about right when the sun comes up and right before it goes down. It's uh, really beautiful warm light, and that's when I prefer to do most of my photography when possible. It snowed in Tallahassee, Florida yesterday. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Oh, the sun went away again. <laughs> I, uh, east. oh, someone got a, something about an Easter book. Oh, I see someone uses my face cream. That's wonderful. Yeah, I, uh, I make an all natural face cream with essential oils in it. And I, I study aromatherapy because I find it so fascinating. And there's different essential oils in my blend that do face tightening, uh, reduce lines and wrinkles. Um, it's just a whole combination of things that are really, really good for your face. And I've been using it for, oh gosh, three years now maybe? I think that's how long I've been making it, maybe four years. Uh, it does help with dark circles as well. Uh, it does help with uh, sunspots. I have a friend who uses it who stopped taking Botox. Now, I don't think my friend was doing full face or anything, but just doing small portions. But uh, my friend insisted that he does not need it anymore since he started using my face cream, which I think is such an incredible um, testimonial. Another girlfriend of mine used to get those uh, deep wrinkles in her chest because she lays on her side, and those were reduced from using my face cream too. Hmm, sun's coming back. Hopefully that'll warm up a little bit. Yoga socks and yoga mat bags. Yes, those are great video tutorial ideas. I do have a couple of, oh, one of the projects in my next book that I will be promoting very soon will be uh, a yoga mat bag. Good morning, Tammy. Glad you were able to catch me live this morning. Did you click the bell button next to the subscribe button? When you go to the page, when you see the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, there's a little tiny button next to it that's a bell. And if you click on that, you have the ability to get notified of when I'm live so that you don't have to be checking to see if I'm live. It'll just pop up on your screen and say, hey, she's live. If you want to join, click here. So it's an easy way to not have to worry about it. It's like that old fashioned, remember that set it and forget it? Ron Popeil, was that a, a chicken maker? A rotisserie chicken thing? I forget what it was, but set it and forget it. It's like one of my favorite phrases ever since. <laughs> oh, we've got clouds. Sun went away again. Boo. <laughs> Still so pretty though. Oh, my beauty products, they're for sale on my website. I'll put a link uh, to those in the uh, show notes as well. Thus, corner to corner, this is the one you mean, right, Sarah? Is that the one you mean? Yeah, there's going to be a video and a pattern for that. I just haven't done them yet. You're seeing these pre, uh, pre-video, pre-pattern. I'm just showing you the sneak peek this morning. Kimmy is asking if I could make gloves. Yeah, that's 
that's a great idea. Yes, my hands are cold and I wish that I had gloves right now. In fact, I told Marlon this morning, I said, I know you can't wear gloves when you're playing tennis, but if your hands are too cold today, please tell me and I will make you gloves for tomorrow. Uh, Marsha moved here from Michigan and didn't bring her winter clothes. I did bring my winter clothes. This is my Michigan down parka from 10 years ago when I lived up there. And every year for 10 years, I bring it out this time of year. And I'm so glad. I, it, was, it takes up, in the grand scheme of things, it takes up this much space of my closet and is just there for days like this when I absolutely need it. <laughs> Oh, not your sweaters, yeah. Oh, Leanne, I'm so glad that, you know, I, I really appreciate your comment because you're saying you enjoy being here with me, but also with the people that are with us here live. And I have to say the same. I am so grateful for all the sweet and kind and thoughtful people that join me live. This little community that we've created is so special to me and that's what I tell people is that it's we've we've already in this short period of time created this sweet community of thoughtful people and I'm so grateful for all of you. Oh Tammy, I'm sorry to he hear that. Hopefully hopefully you feel better soon. Early detection is a is, is a good thing. Ooh, 18 inches of snow, yikes. Yeah, gloves would be gloves would be good today. I'm sure everybody up north has gloves. Charlene, I'm so glad you've learned so much watching my videos. That's wonderful. Getting lots of messages rolling of everybody wanting to pray for Tammy right now, and that's so sweet. Yes, healing wishes for Tammy, absolutely. Tammy, we're all wishing you well. Andy is working on my Knit Fine Midnight Triss Shawlette. That is a fun project. It starts skinny and then it works longer to the middle and then skinny up to the end with a very simple edging that's worked simultaneously in the Crescent Shawlette. Ooh. Ooh, a hot cup of chocolate would be nice. Yes, Vicki. Maybe I could, if I could snap my fingers and get one of those, that'd be nice. <laughs> I'm going to make some green tea when I get home. I'm on a green tea kick right now. Uh, friends baby shower, having a baby girl in April. They live in Seattle. Um, I always, always, always love baby layette sets. And then that can mean anything from the blanket, the hat, the booties, to a sweater, pants, whatever combination of things you want to add in the set. Um, someone that lives in Seattle and having a baby in April, you might not want it to be wool. You could make it in cotton or you could make it in um, maybe even a wool or cotton blend. Caffeine free tea this morning, that sounds good blanket for babies and booties. Yeah, you're getting lots of suggestions in the comments here too. Uh, blanket and booties is probably my favorite thing to make for babies. Oh, and hat. I forgot to say hat. Yeah, hat, booties, and blanket. 
You know, the garments is tough because not everybody is a fan of handmade clothing, but people seem to always, you know, in the non-crafting world, but people always love booties, hats, and blankets. So if you just made those three items in the set, I think that that would be a great gift. And uh, you know what else you could do is buy those gauzy receiving blankets and crochet or knit and edging around those to match the blanket as well. I think that would be really pretty. That's one of the things that um, I'm working on for an upcoming book right now is how to combine different elements in a whole layout set, including some store-bought things and doctoring them up with uh, crochet or knitting. Okay, the sun's back. I don't feel it yet, though. <laughs> wow, lots of people coming down now. I guess they're waiting for the sun. That makes sense. All right, it looks like we've gone past 20 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap it up here and get back <laughs> into the heat. But I wanna thank you all for joining me this morning. Ooh, baby cocoon, those are a great idea. Super cute. Whimsical, but super, super cute. And you can go thematic then as well. Uh, you could do a mermaid or something else cutesy. Okay, so if anybody has any last minute questions or comments, now would be the time. Otherwise, let's just enjoy the sound of the waves for another minute here. So pretty. I'm so glad all of you could join me and share in this beauty this morning. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Okay, when I get home, back to my office, I'm going to share with you all the uh, links that we talked about today. I tried to remember them anyways. I think I remember everything. So have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!